Hey team, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take it from a C sharp class object into a JSON string. That's the goal of this video. Okay, so the first thing for sure, we have to make sure that NuGet is available to us. So come down to it says manage NuGet packages and make sure that we have a Newton soft and yours will stay install. So what I did is I created a file name. Look at that folder. Right now I don't have anything in there. And I'm going to call the output of this uh, customer.json. So then I'm going to build a C sharp class object. And that class object looks like this. So as you can see, I have seven attributes strings, ints, dates, and boolean. These are nullable data types. And here you can see I've load up that single entry and I'm returning that C. And I'm returning it to a thing called cus and that is my new variable. Then what I do is I call Newton soft JSON JSON convert serialize that object. And then that right there produces a string a JSON object. I'm then going to look at that folder, uh, temp YouTube, and see if it exists. And if it doesn't, I'm going to write that file out there. And then I'll show that to you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, that string, that JSON string, and I'm going to convert that back to that C sharp object. I'm going to put it into a variable called C2. And we'll look at all those. Let's start stepping through this program. F10. And I'm going to build that file name pattern. Notice here I'm using the app. Um, that means verbatim, so I don't have to use all the slashes. And then I'm going to go create this customer object. I'm going to put 10 company one someone at email.com 12 pays on time true and a phone number. Let's look at that object. And you can see that this is just a C sharp object nothing fancy. F10. Now that has been assigned to this customer variable CUS and that's our data. Remember those are strings and now what we're going to do is we're going to serialize that object. So I'm going to pass that C sharp object into this serialize object and it's going to go into this variable called JSON. F10. And now when I look at JSON, notice that it kind of looks just like a string. You know, pretty easy, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look at that folder. There's nothing there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step in here and I'm going to write that file there. File name is the path of the file. It's going to be called customer.json. And then JSON is the contents, F10. And let's see what that looks like. You'll notice that that's available to us there. Now what I will do is I will load up visual code and I will drag and drop that so you can see that, see what it looks like. Right click on this and say format document. And that's what that looks like. And that is a, a JSON. Pretty nice, yeah? So now we're gonna keep continue. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deserialize that object. Remember that looked like a string. And now I'm saying, hey string, I want you to look like this C sharp object, customer. And I'm gonna deserialize object. I'm gonna take that string, run it, make it look like this. And I'm gonna assign that to another instance of customer called C2. Let's F10 that. And let's see what that looks like. And notice, it kind of looks just like our, our first cuss. They're identical. And there you have it, team. We serialized an object and then we deserialized it, a simple object. See you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you found this video informative and it warrants a thumbs up, please click that. And lastly, I'd like for you to support my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you, team.